I tell you, get a Glock 19 and get a fucking tier one casino host and you're fucking set, bro. Yo, what's up, guys? Tally Glock's back in it again with another video. Today, I got you all tier one concealed Axis Elite host review. And this is how I have it currently. This is my setup. It is a Code Defender and 45 ACP with a Wilson Combat 10 round magazine. Also in 45 ACP, obviously, right? On the back, I do have a medium wedge. That's the perfect size for me. Um, so yeah, let me remove the firearm, remove the mag. I'm gonna get over with the bad parts about this holster first. So there's two two main things that one of that kind of being extra kind of. It's just the way it is, right? Big ass mag. The last one I'm gonna give you. So number one, clip. I'm not talking about where the firearm goes. I am talking about where the sidecar goes, guys. If you ever try to exchange these clips, like I did, I had my clips at home, and when I ordered the holster from tier one, I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm not gonna buy them. I just have, I have them at my safe right now. They're just they're not being used. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order the holster how it comes and put it on myself. The ones I already have, I'll just do it myself. I did so, and when it came to the firearm part, the right part right here, it was very simple, easy. The screws are right there in the back, right here. Simple, easy. Fucking take it apart, put it back up, easy. When it came to a sidecar, there's no way you can break the sidecar down at all. There's simply no way you will be able to break this down. I promise every single screw apart, everything apart, shot cord off and everything when it was when I was doing it. There's just no way you'll be able to do it. No way. You gotta find a way to work through that um the little problem that it's gonna give you because it gave me a, a problem with 30 minutes worth of my, of my life. And I was actually pretty pissed off, guys, right? I was like, who the hell came up with the stupid engineering? Honestly, who came up with the stupid engineering? I kinda know now how to do it better, but I still Thing like who the fuck would come up with that dumb engineering guy? It's just stupid. It's no way you can reach inside this fucking sidecar. No way. So I'm gonna give you all my solution. The original clip I put into this hole that's down here. I'm talking about this hole right here. Let me get it to focus. I put it through that hole. The, little, the original clip. The clip I mean, is the belt head clip. And I was able to hold the screw it down and put the fucking screw up. I mean the little what do I call it? I don't know the washer I guess. Hold it in and try to screw it up. But by the time I, I kind of messed mess with the pistol to get the screw to fall into one of the holes that it has here. It has some holes here. Guys, took me 30 minutes 40 minutes minimum to be able to fix that it this issue that i was having okay it's a very big problem a lot of people don't want to be dealing with that shit one of my friends i guess he emailed them because he, he was mad he was actually pretty pissed off at that that was even a, a feature or a problem uh, I was, even i was right it's understandable stupid issue nobody should be having to take down this holster should be at the Aggies elite just have a screw in the back loosen it up screw here loosen it up and you'll be able to take it apart because you can't with the firearm for so that's my biggest issue with it my biggest biggest issue now i don't really want to take these kids off because i'm fucking worried that i might not be able to put it back i'm being 100 real so yeah I just want to talk about that very important thing. To me, it's very important. It might be to you too, or it might just be to you. Whatever, whatever, who the fuck cares, right? To me, it was important. Now, another very big thing, guys, but it's not as big as the first one, but it's still a big thing, and this one, that actually doesn't matter a lot to me, but I just feel like it didn't give me as much trouble as that first one did. Oh, um, this one just makes me uncomfortable, and I, you pay $160, $170 for a host. You're expecting premium, premium, perfect fitment and everything, right? And look at this. Retention is tight, it's not loose. Look at this, I'm holding from the sidecar and the claw over here. You cannot say that I'm, that I'm holding the whole shirt to tighten it up, but I'm not. y'all see all that play i was pretty pissed at that guys i was expecting top tier really really top tier quality fit men and all type of stuff like i have always had from them okay i had like two more holsters i have an examples elite it's the best holster you can buy from them, in my opinion and the aggies elite besides this one is the axis um honestly the axis the aggies elite is way easier to take down and clean and everything than the axis but of course this thing is very comfortable so those are my cons guys my other one is gonna be a dad little bump right here you see the little bump for the mag for not to print as much but it still kind of prints but it might be my clip my clips or i don't know what it is but it doesn't work well okay for me at least the top of this pops up like crazy or i might need another fucking wedge to put it right here and it'll put the whole holster with to the body at the same time right those are my three bad things that i've gotten that i've experienced this holster to this day um let's get to the good stuff let's start to, from the top to the bottom which i mean from the top to bottom so one thing you get that I will give credit to, to you concealed 100% of the credit. I mean, they listen to the customers, okay? I personally, I, I asked them, sir, like, guys, can I please get a race sweat guard? I have a 1911, and it kind of, it was hard for me to find. I don't want to rust it up, whatever. I'm not babying the gun either, but I don't want to mess it up, right? If I can avoid it, I will avoid it. I'm not going to be fucking throwing it around or not caring about the firearm, right? I care about my firearms a lot. So I asked for a race sweat guard, and they were nice enough to do so. Supposedly, they don't make me anymore. They don't do it anymore, but they did it for me. And I specifically asked for it to be to the safety, and they can add the little safety mode to it. And they did it for me. Right, it's fucking dope. I was, I was actually pretty happy about that. Um, I know my friends ordered a host straws and they weren't able to get the sweat guard. Like, again, I think it's because the firearm that it was. Or they got it for the Glocks. I mean, it's a Glock, right? I have a bunch of Glocks also. They know Glocks are going to fucking work forever. You, they break apart, you find it immediately. Now, when it comes to something like this, you don't really find it immediately. It's, that's the truth. It took me a while to find it and I found it, thankfully. So, moving past the gun to go to the holster again. It, it was very nice of them to do that. All right, I actually very enjoyed that very much. 
And the way I draw my pistol, guys, I am the type of person I like to push my pistol away from my uh, my holster with my thumb. So when I do that, it kind of deactivates the safety. So now I don't have a safety activator and I fire if I needed to. So to me, that's a very badass feature they added, or maybe it just that's how it works for me. I don't really think it's a feature. I just think it's just worked out well for me. Very, very, very good. I really enjoyed that very much, and I was actually very appreciative of them to do that for me. Um, again, two one can see with this top of the line holster, guys. I would recommend it to anybody. Like you want to get the best hoses in the market, T1 Concealed. T1 Concealed is the way to go, guaranteed. Um, now it's moving down, guys. The clips, original clips that come with it, there's no problem with them at all, guys. I, I carry them a lot, almost every single day. I carry them, I extend them all the way out, and they're plastic, and they don't break. They're very well thought out holsters. They're very, in my opinion, I believe the original clips that come with it are the most comfortable for you, at least, right? Like you want to be comfortable, they don't move around with your body because the clips are a little bit open, and they move around with your body, and it's very, very comfortable. Only the only two downsides, in my opinion, it's plastic. The second one is the uh, the fact that it has little extenders. So you can pull your finger up, grab it, grab a grip with your finger, and pull it up and put your put it through your belt. Again, it is a nice feature, but it's a little too expensive, extended, in my opinion. But yeah, original clips are they're very nice clips. They work, they run. I honestly want to put them back on this holster, but I don't want to be dealing with this whole shenanigan again on my sidecar. So moving on, we go to the claw. This claw, guys, you want to call it a wing instead of a claw. The claw, the ones that come with light bearing um, firearm. The difference, I don't know the difference between them, but they say it's, di it's different. So this is a wing. Um, this thing fucking works like a dream, guys. Right? You, my pistol does not print at all. It is not a small little pistol like you might expect. I still get a pretty full grip, and it's kind of the length of a Glock 19. The grip is at least right, and this thing does not print at all, guys. All right, and I actually enjoy that very much. And also, the pistol is very, very thin, guys. So I'm able to consider this thing like I can be around you guys, and even if you carry, you know, when someone carries, you probably won't be able to see this pistol. I'm telling you guys, even with a little eight round extension, you won't be able to see it. More than likely, you won't be able. Yeah, I got an unboxing on the channel. If you want to go see it, can't get a light bearing version of this holster. It will cost twenty dollars, but I didn't add that because I have a 1911. I do have one with a 19 with a flashlight, but it is an Agus, not an Axis. And I have an Insight Post with the light bearing also, and I do have the claw and. It, Fucking works just as fine if not better. Oh, um, you do see a little tier, the T1 right here. Now the Kydex is built very, very nice, guys. Like when I go to the range of my Glock 19, I put my gun in my holster while it's still hot, and the mode doesn't mess up, it doesn't fuck up, it gets soft or loose or whatever you want to say. Like whatever happens to Kydex or plastic, it won't happen with this one as easy. And I'm talking about that Mac dump it or not Mac dump it, but I. I'm done shooting a drill of like 15, 20 rounds and I put it back in and it doesn't mess up. It doesn't get burnt up. It's not, it doesn't have any burn stains or none of that. And it is hot to the touch, I promise you. It is very, very, very hot. Uh, and the heat does not go to my body so I can holster it and I will not feel the heat on my body, which I enjoy very much because they do get fucking hot. If you shoot a lot, you know what I'm talking about. Also guys, I'm done with this little portion. Let's move to the left. Let's go to the little shock cord that it has, little rope right here. Um, you can get in a variety of colors. I like my holsters very simple. A black holster with a black shock. I like to keep it simple. Okay, you might be somebody who likes to have like blue holsters with the red freaking shot cord you could do that if you wanted like i said personally i keep it simple but you have the option to do so if you want it so you do you pro to the guys a very thing that it actually helps me out a lot guys if you ever have to kneel down for whatever reason reach for something whatever the shot cord will allow the side card to move with your thigh see that so this is the most comfortable holster out of the side card bearing fucking holsters that you can buy from them for sure access to agus for sure the axe is way more comfortable, especially if it look good, this thing is like way more comfortable and this thing moves all around with you. If shit ever happens, that the shot cord gets old, because of your sweat, whatever, just you rip it, whatever, you are able to replace it for like two bucks. If I'm mistaken, don't call me. It might be a little more, but I'm pretty sure it's not more than five, seven bucks, so it's pretty fucking dope. And then you do get the option to order extra ones whenever you're ordering your holster. I mean, somebody who you sweat a lot or whatever, you might, you might want to order it, right? It's up to you. In my opinion, guys, I do enjoy it. They added this little hole in the bottom. See the little hole right where my palm is right here? This one and the little hole right here. Although that could, that's more likely going to be for the screws. But I feel like that actually gives, it does give it like room to breathe, right? They get some oxygen in, whatever, some fresh air. It won't be as moist or musty or whatever you want to call it. And it won't rust. And for me, guys, I really want to prevent rusting from my pistol. For a specific one, at least. My other ones, I'm not really worried about it. It's a Glock. They carry my two Glocks. Not worried about it at all. I know they don't fuck up like that. They're easy. Carry them for years now and they fucking run. Thankfully, right? But yeah, guys, I like that little feature that they added um now let's get to the back of the horse back here guys, you do see a wedge um depending on the size of your gut even if you don't have a gut i do recommend you getting a wedge because the point of the wedge guys is this is your body right here the wedge pushes the top of the firearm to your body therefore you get less printing of the stock i mean of the of the the grip or the tail whatever you want to call it it will print way less it'll push towards your body and with the claw that it has right here wing claw whatever you want to call it it'll push towards your body like this and push it in but you just not gonna print you just won't print Okay, I, I fucking carry Glock 45, Glock 19, Glock 17, Glock 47, and you just don't fucking print. Okay, you just don't print thanks to his wedge. Okay, it's, I know it's thanks to that wedge. Um, so if you're gonna get a holster, I highly recommend you to get a wedge. For sure, it's very effective, it works very well. 
Um, and I recommend my friends to get all wedges. I recommend them all to get wedges. And I've gotten about two of my friends so far, two or three of my friends, to buy t concealed holsters and Glocks. <laughs> I took a body guy that everybody I know, get a fucking Glock and get a T-Room concealed and just set up. All you fucking need. But in my opinion, that's all you need. And any friend that, that knows me, that I talk to them about guns or whatever, they know that I'm not lying at all. And they know that I'm being 100% truthful. You're good, you don't need any bullshit, you don't need some other bullshit. You're, just, you're set. That's what I carry. And I have a bunch of firearms because I have a bunch of options. I still always go back to my Glock 19 with the fucking armor on it and a flashlight on my fucking sidecar mag on. I just go back to it, I go back to it, right? Uh, I don't know what it is. I just feel more comfortable with my Glock than with any other pistol. What it is, I shoot, I shoot the best. I have Beretta, I have 1911s, fucking HKs, all type of shit, you name it, I, I probably will have it. Um, except shit, I won't, but I don't have it. I have shot them, I have. Try them out, whatever, but I don't, I don't really enjoy it. I recommend this holster 10 out of 10, guys, but if you're planning on changing the clips or the holster clips, whatever you want to call them, I highly recommend you to do it out the factory so you won't have to be dealing with that shit yourself because it is an issue. And I promise you, you will get irritated. I promise you. Uh, but other than that, guys, I don't have anything else to say. Holster is very simple, very simple to use, except the sidecar, like I said. It works well, consumes well. Let me show you all very quick. Oh, man, I very. You very much would enjoy it and you probably will conceal better with this holster any other holster on the market now you compare this one to any other one you want to conceal better with this one okay and let me show you that very quick remove the magazine so it won't be heavy you two guidelines you can see that <laughs> it disappears and i have a little more to my right side so i push it i take that towards the middle like this gone side profile not there okay gone so that being said guys i highly recommend this fucking holster i do enjoy it this video is getting a little too lengthy now um, i do enjoy it and i appreciate sure you will enjoy it too i'm pretty sure once you get it figured out, once you get it all like fucking set up, whatever, you will enjoy your holster very, very much. Uh, my friend that also had it and had a problem adjusting it, he set it up. Now he enjoys it very, very much and he has no more issues. What it is, you kind of deal with the little problem of it. Only if you change the clip, the little problem of adjusting it up and down, whatever the hell. After you get to the right sweet spot, you're set. You're, you're fucking set. You will not complain anymore. You won't need to do anything to it anymore. But yeah, guys, this was Happy Glocks. I will catch you on the next one. God bless. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. If you enjoyed it, if you found it interesting, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Like I said, God bless. Stay up. Stay ready. Stay dangerous. But most important, stay legal. All right? Stay legal. And above all, stay close to God, guys. Most important thing you can do in this world. Stay close to God. I will catch you on the next one, guys. God bless. For the third time. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Thank y'all.